Hello lovelies, this is Crystal with Emerson Aurora Design and today I'm going to show you how I made my Rainbow Leopard Peekaboo water bottle. This is a 32 ounce Hydro Sport, I think it's called, from the Stainless Depot. Um, I purchased that for the there. It is a hog brand. It is sanded, washed, and spray painted for my prep. I like a white base when I'm using bright neon colors because I feel like the colors pop on a white base. But if you prefer to spray paint the exact colors that you're using for your glitters, feel free to do that. I'm putting a small amount of epoxy on my tumbler. This is a rather large tumbler, so it may look like I'm using a lot. Just spread it out evenly, and I let that turn for a couple minutes to allow the epoxy to kind of settle so I don't have distinct lines when I apply my glitter. I'm using my torch to pop any bubbles and to help that epoxy flatten out so that I don't have the lines because they will kind of show through the glitter. I'm just going to grab an assortment of beautiful neon style glitters from my glitter trove I have here. They're all different brands. Some of them are not from specific companies like this one. When I'm doing peekaboos, I try to choose fine glitters and then I kind of add a sprinkling of chunkies um, here and there. The, using fine glitters for a peekaboo is nice because you don't have to add as many top layers of epoxy to get your glitters nice and smooth. So I'm just going in a rainbow pattern. Like I said, this is all different glitters. I just go to my glitter wall and choose at random. But you can use any glitters you may have on hand. I go in first with kind of a light touch with my glitters and then I'll go back over each one to get better coverage. I love this pink. It's so pretty and summery. I'm really in a rainbow vibe right now. I absolutely love rainbow tumblers. Um, I love the combination of the different colors and it just... Uh, is beautiful. So you're going to see a lot of rainbow tumblers coming up soon. They just remind me of spring and summer and I am so ready for spring, you guys. We were in the 70s and then all of a sudden we're in the 20s uh, today and yesterday. So I am ready for that sunshine. This tumbler is a fun one to make for taking to the pool or the beach. I just love the neon rainbow. And I'm going in with a second coat here just to kind of um, blend those edges, let that glitter kind of blend with the one next to it so that we don't have a distinct line. I'm going to do this with each one of the glitters and it'll have a better sparkle cover so you don't see the white underneath. If you do choose to use chunky glitters for a peekaboo, just make sure that you smush your glitter down really well after you've applied it while the epoxy is still wet. Whether you use Mod Podge or epoxy or glitter glue, it's always a good idea to kind of smush your glitters down so that they lay flat on the tumbler so you don't have to put 15 <laughs> layers of epoxy over that to um, get that nice smooth finish that we're looking for before the peekaboo. So 
So here are my leopard print for my peekaboo. Um, just a side note, um, at this stage my tumbler would be completely epoxied and cured and sanded so that it's nice and smooth finished, as you can see there. I think I probably put about two or three coats of epoxy um, before I came to this step. So make sure your glitter is nice and covered and smooth. And I'm doing a peekaboo. That's why these funky colored vinyls. Um, my friend wanted her name. So I'm going to do it in a swirl kind of style so that it's nice and big and bold. So this will be a peekaboo so that vinyl will not be staying because it doesn't really match. <laughs> You want to use um, either stencil vinyl for a peekaboo or or removable vinyl. I like to use removable vinyl. I have a hard time with stencil vinyl because it's see-through, it's transparent, and I just like to be able to actually see my pattern on my tumbler. It's easier for me when I'm placing my vinyls. So this is just a standard leopard print that I I think I found it on, it was actually on Design Space, but you can use any that you like. I wanted big, bold spots um, because I don't want to lose all my beautiful glitters. So big, bold spots here, and I'm going to lay those out. I go in with it as a sheet at first, and then I'll hand place um, spots where I need them so that they fit up nicely next to the name. And this gray vinyl obviously is not staying either. These will be peeled up later. This is also removable vinyl so that I don't have any hassle. If you accidentally use permanent vinyl, you can use it. I've used it in the past by mistake because not all my vinyl is labeled. <laughs> but um, you run the risk of having some of the adhesive kind of stick behind so it's a little bit of a hassle because you have to go in with a q-tip and rubbing alcohol to try to get that adhesive pulled away also you run the risk of um, fish eyes because the epoxy will repel again away from the adhesive so it's best to use either stencil vinyl or removable vinyl for the peekaboo i learned that the hard way <laughs> Um, what I usually do is I will go to like my craft source or any of uh, any of your favorite vinyl retailers um, or suppliers will have removable vinyl available. I usually I like my craft source. I had really good luck with them. They have fast shipping. I'm not affiliated with them. I just like their product, but I purchase removable vinyl in large rolls in a color that I wouldn't normally use so that I know that that's my removable vinyl and I use that for all my peekaboos now. This was not um, on a roll. This is just colored vinyl that I don't really care for and I don't use. I don't use gray or maroon very often. <laughs> so I usually purchase um, large packs of vinyl even on Amazon just in multiple colors so that I have different colors available just in case I need it for that last minute order um, like school colors or uh, team colors that maybe I wouldn't normally keep in stock so it's a good idea to have a little at least one sheet of all different colors available um, for your you know last minute orders so you don't have to worry about waiting for your shipment to come in on time to have your tumblers finished So just piece these in. I'm trying to space them as best that I can so that it um, looks even. <laughs> Sorry my tumbler is getting away from me. My desk is not very big here with my computer on it, so I don't have a whole lot of space. How are you guys doing this lovely March? I, uh, Like I said, I'm ready for spring. I live in southern Indiana, so it's hit or miss with weather around here. <laughs> So I'm going to place these on here and I will go in and spray this. I'm, it'll probably show here in a few minutes. I'm probably getting ahead of myself, but I'm going to spray this with white Rust-Oleum two times uh, paint. You can use white primer. You can use 
uh, matte finish, whatever you like to use, um, and whatever color you want for your outer part of your tumbler. This would be pretty with black. I'm doing white, that's what she requested. I think it'd be pretty with like a deep purple or a dark blue, match it glitters, but really you can do anything you like. I am gonna put some of these little stickers for the peekaboo on the bottom since I did glitter my bottom. If I were using chunky glitters, I probably would not have glittered my bottom and just sprayed that and left it the white. But since I'm using the fine glitters, I like to put a little peekaboo at the bottom for a little surprise. So here it is, nice and spray painted. Um, you can't really tell here on camera, but you can. I can tell where the vinyl is. If you have issues, you can always use the glue gun method, but that is very tedious for this type of tumbler, and because I only put two thin coats of spray paint on, I can very easily see my decals underneath. So I'm going in with my little pick tool. This is from the Dollar Tree, but you can use any pick tool you have. And I'm gently pulling up all that vinyl. I know it looks fast, but it's sped up. When you're doing this, just be real careful. You don't want to accidentally scratch your surface um, of the spray paint. If you do accidentally cause a little scratch in your spray paint, you can always go in with a little bit of acrylic paint and touch that up. My method is I use the pick tool that's kind of like a needle, and I kind of stab it into the actual vinyl to get a good grip. Um, to allow it to peel up, if that makes any sense. This is my favorite part of doing peekaboos. You probably heard me say that a million times, but it's so satisfying to see how pretty that looks as the glitter is revealed underneath. And it's nice because with the peekaboo, you can see that rainbow swirl through the, uh, with the leopard spots. And it's just so cool. I love it. I love the colors. So here it is all peeled up. I am going to spray this with um, clear spray paint. Um, you can use any type of sealant that you like. Now I did apply about two layers of a thin layers of epoxy on here before this step and it's nice and cured and smooth. I'm going to go in with an outline that I made um, in design space. I just did the offset and sliced my uh, name to create that um, outline. And I'm using this pretty rose gold metallic to outline her name and the leopard spots. This, is, um, this can be a little challenging when putting this directly on your tumbler because of the curve. But as long as your letters are were all matched up nicely and you get that first one, you should be okay. Uh, one of my challenges uh, is when I'm doing vinyl, guys, my family knows I'm doing vinyl because sometimes I'm yelling about it and <laughs> getting irritated. 
You can put these down one letter at a time if you prefer to make it a little easier. I put that T down first, and then I'm going to go back in with the rest. Since I did this on an angle um, spiraling around my tumbler, <clears throat> it was a little bit of a challenge, but it worked out in the end. This is a straight tumbler. There's no taper to it, so that helps a lot. I am not perfect when it comes to laying vinyl, so take that as you will. <laughs> there we go. Surprisingly, I got that on straight. <laughs> And I, just a side note, this is Cricut Transfer uh, Strong, I think it's. I don't usually use this stuff. I don't really like it, but this rose gold metallic um, vinyl really needed a strong adhesive, so that's why I went with that, but I don't like the Cricut brand. There we go. Looks pretty, doesn't it? So I'm going to attempt to put these little outlines on the leopard spots. They are very thin, so I don't have to go through and match up them up individually, which is a bit of a tedious process. If you prefer not to do your outlines, this cup looks amazing without them also. But she specifically wanted the outlines because I'm basically remaking a tumbler that I have myself. Um, and she saw it and had to have one. So I am doing these little outlines. I'm leaving the sheet intact there and just peeling off the outlines because I can use those, you know, the inner, the center parts on a different cup. So waste not, want not. Um, I'm all about trying to save my um, supplies and using them later for other projects. So that's why I'm doing that. I took an inspiration for this tumbler from Jessica Flynn, Flynn Sisters Boutique. If you guys have never watched her YouTube channel, I absolutely love her. She is so upbeat and sweet, and I love her design. So give her a check her out if you've never watched her before. She's a doll. So here it is. That's with all the decals on. I'm going to go in probably with another one to two layers of epoxy to get a nice smooth finish, sanding in between, and I am so excited with how this turned out. I can see myself or my friend actually sipping her lemonade or even a margarita at the pool this summer. Let me know what you think. If you guys are new to my channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Um, you can send a question to me down in the comments. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I have so much fun putting up content, and it makes me humbled that so many people really enjoy my videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you guys have a beautiful day, and happy crafting, happy spring. Let's think of good spring thoughts and get this warm weather coming, guys.